Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you really don't like the old school powered rail system of model railway. So I have designed my own wireless battery powered Arduino based controller system. With the cost of all the modules here and all the bits and pieces to create this, it was still under $20. So this is a super affordable project. Not only that, but there's an infinite level of customizability with the Arduino. Here are all the parts that I used for the receiver or the train side. I'll be putting it all in this small little OO gauge train. Here's the Arduino Nano. This is just a cheap model I bought off AliExpress. The HC12 communication module, a 3S BMS, and finally the motor controller. Now for the batteries, I'm just going to be using these that I pulled out of old vapes. I think they're 650 milliamps. For this project, I want to point out that down below I will have in a GitHub the code and the circuit diagrams for both the transmitter and the receiver. When connecting up the HC12 communication model to either of the Arduinos, because it uses software serial, you can use pretty much any of the digital pins. Here's the circuit diagram for the BMS I used. Obviously it's important to make sure that you wire it up correctly. I went ahead and wired up the BMS to the motor controller and I also put a hole in the rolling stock to fit that wire through. I did make a bit of a mistake here. All this wire is too thick gauge. I should have used a much thinner one. It's unnecessary to be this thick. It just caused me issues with fitting everything in. Um, but it's just what I had on stock and I couldn't be bothered getting more. As it's such low current, uh, definitely for yourself, use a thinner gauge, it'll make your life a lot easier. When adding the wires to the motor, it's important that they don't touch the body as then it will send current through the tracks and that will just cause a lot of wastage and problems. I went and changed the connectors as well for the motor to the motor controller as the ones I put on were way too big. Again, if I used a smaller gauge wire, this would also work a bit better. These wires have a bit too much strength and resistance and they kind of push the train and the cart a little bit.
Now for the transmitter part of the build, we will need, of course, another Arduino, a kind of board to put it on with screw terminals, it just makes things easier, a potentiometer, a switch, and as well as some type of board to mount it all on. I went and mounted everything up here. I don't like soldering on camera, I think it always looks bad, so I just did this all ahead of time. Again, if you want to see the diagrams, they'll be in the description below. I did wire this barrel jack in as well, that's just a 5 volt source coming off the wall, which powers all the modules. Out of all the different communication models that Arduino supports, I've really liked using these HC12s. I find them super easy to use, and they connect basically instantly with no problems. Would highly recommend. And here you can see it's all set up and working as it should, with forward and reverse. If this video does well, I'm keen to do more in a similar style. I had some more ideas for this project, like a shunting yard with automatic charging, as well as a display that goes on the transmitter that'll give you details like how much acceleration you've got and voltage of the train at any time. So if this is something you want, just leave a comment or a like and I will keep making more videos like this.